Hey fun, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel for another video. I know I have been away for a little bit, which was not my original intent. My parents were in town for a couple weeks and I originally wanted to have a bunch of things pre-filmed and ready to go while I was away. And unfortunately I was ill the week before they got here. So I didn't get to do all the things that I wanted to, but I do have some videos coming that I had actually filmed beforehand. I just got, didn't get around to editing them for my channel. So there is plenty of content to come and I'm excited to get back into the swing of things. I do feel a little rusty here, um, but I am so excited for the holidays to come and all the videos that are on my agenda. And this one was actually not planned. This is a puzzle haul of all the things that arrived while I was gone, or they are a couple things that I got thrifted recently. If you are new here, welcome. I would love if you subscribed and joined our little community here. I do have a Facebook group, which is rapidly growing right now that is associated with my channel. There's a lot of fun stuff happening over there and then I do have an Instagram as well. If you're a lover of puzzles, I have a lot of content coming and a lot of content already on my channel that you can check out. And if you've been here before, I hope you're doing well and I hope you are having a lovely October. So let's just get into these puzzles. So we're starting off with two items I got recently at Goodwill. I think these are such great finds. This first one here is a Ravensburger 300 piece, which I love. I love the large format 300 pieces. They're a quick, easy 30 minute to 45 minute puzzle for me. And they're just fun for like watching a TV episode, you know, and just going at it. This one I got for $3.99. Again, it's a 300 piece and it is, so fun. Let me see. What's this called? This one is called Seahorse Around. And it is just a really fun water scene. Very bright, very colorful. Um, let me see. Oh, there's a couple seahorses, but definitely more fish oriented. It just looks like a fun, you know, quick puzzle. Again, I love the large format pieces when I have some difficulty with gripping since I do have RA. And this one just, it just looks like a good time and I have never had a bad experience with this size of piece count. So I'm excited about it. Definitely think it was worth a $3.99. Hopefully all the pieces are there, but I actually have been very lucky recently with my thrifted items. So I'm excited about that one. This next item is such a great find. I also only spent $3.99 on it. Normally I think they're around $24, $26, but I'm pretty sure this is a discontinued item, which makes it even cooler. So you guys know I'm a huge fan of the Pintu vases. I have worked with them in the past and I have purchased them on my own as well. I love them. They are a functional 3D vase. I have a whole dedicated video on here about them. And so when I saw this, I was so excited. It is a Pintu puzzle vase. And I don't have this one at, in my collection. It actually seems like it's like an older version of what they do. Um, I don't know the name of it, but oh, Rose Puzzle Vase. It is absolutely stunning. It's like these pink and coral colored roses. And this one is a little bit more unique because with the current pin two vases, they are in four different sections with four different bags. This one, all the puzzle pieces come in a singular bag. So everything is still brand new in the box, all sealed up. So I have the bag of pieces, I have the vase, I have the flower vase section, and I'm so excited to add this to my puzzle base collection from Pin2. This is definitely unique compared to all the other ones that I have from them because there's a little bit more color and I think it's going to be so much fun. So I'm excited to have found that one. When I saw it at Goodwill, I could not pass it up because it's so much fun. Next, I have this one here, which is a unique story of how it entered my collection. So my sister is a general manager for a campground. And so she was at a convention and met the owners of this puzzle company. And when she mentioned that she was my sister, they ended up giving her the puzzle to give to me. So that's how it entered into my collection was it is kind of gifted from them. Um, so this is from Zen Puzzles. They are a small wooden puzzle company in Massachusetts. So they are made in the US. And this one is called Patches. It is 125 pieces. And it is this really cute little puzzle about national parks, which I'm a huge fan of. And so I thought this one was super cute. Um, she actually did it before sending it over to me. She really enjoyed it. It is a laser cut puzzle and it's a very small company. They are made in the US. It looks like they use birch wood for their wood. 
um, but it's I'm excited to try another wooden puzzle brand and they had some really cute images on their website as well moving into this one which I got on eBay I am not an eBay shopper um, and I'm usually not a going out of my way to find a specific puzzle on eBay shopper but I was on one of my like Facebook groups that does puzzles and someone posted a picture of what's called doubles from Seiko and I was very curious and instantly went on eBay to find one so they're a kind of puzzle that's no longer in production from Seiko and this one is just so cool so it's 600 pieces and it's a Thomas Kincaid puzzle it's a winter scene which is not my normal style but what really intrigued me is the puzzle pieces, which I'm you may have heard of before. I honestly have not, and I'm so excited to try this. So it's a 600-piece puzzle, but what is unique about the pieces is that you have like these jumbo size pieces, and then you have these mini size pieces that go inside the jumbo pieces. So this one just looks really cool to try. Um, it did say that it had all the pieces here. The piece shapes look really fun and interesting. So I'm excited to try this out. I feel like it's going to be super fun in the winter time. A little bit more challenging just because the image style is not my normal go-to. I'm not normally a Thomas Kincaid nor a winter scene lover of puzzles, but I think it's going to be a fun, unique experience, and I'm excited to try this type of piece shape. Next, I have this one from Hobby Lobby, which I normally don't shop at, but I was there getting a couple scrapbook items, and I ended up going into their puzzle aisle, which was 40% off at the time, and this one caught my eye. This is from Paper House, which I've never tried before, and it's, it's I'm not surprised that I chose this one because I'm a huge fan of like glitter or shiny things, and this one is a puzzle with foil in it, and I hope I can give it justice on the video but it's this really cool like Mandela type of image it's just really bright very colorful and lots of foil pieces it is a shaped puzzle so it's actually like a flower type shape and I think this is going to be super fun maybe a little bit on the challenging side just because the colors is kind of chaotic throughout the image but I only spent, I want to say like $8 on it, so I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be a really fun time, and hopefully the quality is okay, but again, I've never tried this brand before, but I am excited. It's only 550 pieces, so I think very doable. This next one I have here, I am very excited about. I ordered quite a while ago as a pre-order. It's one of Pintu's newer releases for the holidays. And I'm not working with them for this. I just bought it on my own because I was excited about it. I think I had like a 20% off coupon. Um, this one is called Santa Christmas Eve. And what I think is very cool um, about this one is that they changed the box. So if that's the case for all of their newer releases for Pintu, I'm on board because that is one of the critiques I've had in the past with the Pintu boxes is that they have like a cover that like is removable and the box sometimes is just like lift up. So it's like the box is okay. It's more shoebox style than like puzzle box. So this is actually like a traditional puzzle box, which I'm very, very excited about. Much easier to store and I feel like it's easier to keep the image on the box because the other ones it can be a little tricky. I know I'm talking about a lot about the box, but I, I it, like the improvement. So I'm very excited about this one. It's a 1200 piece and I think this one is going to be super fun. For me, I have done a 1200 piece in the past and it has been four 300 piece puzzles, which is very doable, especially in like the winter time when you may not have a ton of time to do a ton of larger piece counts to be able to like break it up might be a lot quicker and I think this is going to be a super fun one really cute for the holidays and definitely more on like the classic side of things but I really like the image a lot so this one is going to be really nice for the holidays and then speaking of holidays I'm not showing all of the advent calendars that I have been receiving recently but I want to show this one um, there is going to be a whole dedicated series on advent calendars this year I have I think about 10 of the 10 new ones because I already had about 15 already from previous years and this time around I have 10 new puzzle advent calendars and this one I ordered a long time ago and I think they don't have any more so it might have been sold out I apologize if it's something that you want, but in general, I've just been getting a lot of advent calendars recently, and this one, 
I'm very excited about because it's a brand that I've been wanting to try. I've heard very mixed reviews on it, um, but it's from Reverie Puzzles. It's a very small Australian brand, which is super fun to try. I always love trying like an international brand. This one is called A Bookish Christmas Advent Calendar, which is totally up my vibe. It's like this really beautiful book, very sturdy in hardcover. I think this one is going to be super fun. Again, I think it is sold out officially for the year, but I just want to let you know that there's a ton of Advent puzzles coming and I'm ex I'm so excited. Like I'm very happy about the holiday season this year. Um, so there's that. Also, I wanted to mention in case you are not into Christmas or don't celebrate Christmas, that there will be other content in the holiday season that aren't holiday related. So I just want to mention that in case that is not your vibe or that's something you do not celebrate. Um, I just want to mention that. Anyways, next up we have this one which my mom gifted to me. Um, she got it at a local store for her. This is by Suns Out and it's one of their shaped puzzles which I have to admit I'm a little nervous about because I have done one of their shaped puzzles before and it did not go very well. It's one of the few puzzles that I have not completed. It was like this deer shaped puzzle that had like a hundred deer inside of it and it was absolutely awful. But this one looks a lot easier and a lot more colorful. So I think this is going to be a much easier option than that original one that I did. But this one is called Rule the Roost and it is this rooster shaped puzzle and there's like a ton of like barnyard animals and roosters and chickens and it just looks really fun. Um, again, I do think it's a lot easier than the original shaped puzzle that I had done from them, but I think it will be a fun little puzzle to do it is a thousand pieces, which also makes me a little nervous because sometimes there are thousand piece puzzles and have really small, small pieces. So we'll see how this one goes, but it definitely is a cute image and I like the concept of like another shaped puzzle which is always fun to branch out to. And finally, we have this whole collection of puzzles here, which I'm so excited for. I have been waiting about a year to have this whole collection, actually longer than that, because I had originally done a video with them a long time ago, like two years ago. And at the time, only four of the puzzles were available, but the concept is supposed to be including eight. And so back in last October, I was talking about how I wanted the whole collection. I couldn't buy it at the time. And then they reached out in March to let me know that they were doing another crowdfunding campaign to complete the whole collection. So I did help them with the campaign. I did purchase these myself. They did gift me this puzzle up here for helping with the campaign. I think they actually did offer to send me a couple of the other puzzles, but I was just buying the whole collection anyways, because I really wanted to. And it was actually was a much better deal because I think I ended up getting like two or three free if I purchased the full set. So it just made sense at the time. Um, but I did actually partake in their crowdfunding back in March. And so I have been waiting a long time for these. And it was very interesting to be in a crowdfunding campaign. I was never a part of that before. And it was a long wait, which is Definitely different than normal, because normally when you're purchasing a puzzle online, maybe you have to wait a day or two if you're purchasing from Amazon, maybe a week, maybe a couple weeks for me since I purchased some things internationally, but never months. And so it was a very long wait and I finally got them. Of course, they arrived right before our cruise, so I couldn't really open them up, um, but I'm so excited for this. I have done one of theirs before, which was number two. And I did like it. And I remember loving the coloring and there were nice matte pieces. I remember having some issues with the border having some false fits, but not many false fits in the interior pieces. So I'm excited to try this out and do the whole collection. And the whole concept of the wildlife collection is that you can either purchase one or two and they just like standalone puzzles, or you can purchase the full collection and together they make a big mural for animals and each puzzle is like a different habitat and all the animals that live there. It's a very cool concept. I have done the, I think it was the treetop collection before. And so it's really fun to look at all of them because each puzzle is absolutely stunning. It's a little busy. Um, there's, I feel like a little bit more of the chaotic style of collage type puzzle going around, but there's enough bigger animals to like work from. So let me just show you those first and then I'll go into the one that they did gift me. So they are all numbered. Of 
course I don't have them in order, but this one is number four, which is um, Prairie and Desert, which I'll put close-ups of each of these on the screen. But this one is really fun. I love the giant elephant, lots of birds and animals, and I like the sky in the background. We have this one here, which is number five, Tropical Forest Floor, which is, I feel like bigger animals, bigger mammals, you know, you have more elephants, um, then you also have some other really fun ones that I definitely have seen at the zoo before, definitely more like African style, um, but they are, again, really stunning. We have number two, which is the one I have done previously, which is from Temperate Treetops. And this one was really fun. Again, some bigger animals, but a lot of smaller birds and mammals, such as squirrels and chipmunks. We have this one, which is number one, which is their tropical tree toss, which again, tons of birds, lots of monkeys, and some koalas. So that's super fun. Um, this one here, I feel like it's definitely a different vibe than the others. This one is called Rocky Places. And there's some very unique animals here, like water buffalo, some different cats, and some, uh, again, more birds. And I feel like the background is definitely a little different than the other ones. I feel like a little calmer than the other ones. Uh, we also have this one, which is called number seven, Tropical Waters, which I really enjoy. I feel like this one is on the, I feel like if you're looking for a easier one. Um, it might be this one because there are two different levels. You have the animals that are on top of the water and then the larger animals on the interior. And I feel like the animals are a little bit bigger than the some of the other puzzles that you have. Next we have number three, which is Tropical Forest. This one is very busy. Um, we have lots of monkeys again. We have lots of birds again, lots of like different cats and the um, and so I think this one is going to be really fun and beautiful. And then finally we have number eight, which is called Cold Waters. And this one is very fun as well. Again, I like the two layers where you have like the water and then you have the animals on top of the birds on top. And so those are all eight of the puzzles, which I think is so fun. I'll put on the screen of what it looks like all together. Um, it definitely is a unique concept where you're just making one huge mural of animals, which is super fun. Um, I'll, I would love to maybe do a mini series on here, just to maybe on occasion do one per month maybe, and eventually get the whole collection together and put it on a wall. No idea where it would go in this house, because um, I originally purchased it when we were still house hunting, so um, I didn't really have an idea of where it was going, but I'm sure I'll find a place for it, and it's going to be, it's going to be a fun time. And then the final item I have here is called Endangered Species, the world map number two. This one is a really cool concept because it was for endangered species awareness. They are helping with um, Conservation International. It has nine different artists who are included in this and it ends up being four 750 piece puzzles that join up to make one 3000 piece puzzle, which I very much appreciate because the image itself looks very difficult just because there's so much water. Um, it definitely looks like a little bit more of a challenging image, but it is very cool. I think there's over like 300 animals inside this puzzle and they are either endangered or critically endangered animals, which um, there's a lot of information on this box. I'll definitely do again a different video on this one as well in the future. That's definitely going to be another project, but Oh my gosh, I feel like I've been here forever because I'm so rusty filming. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to know which puzzles here caught your eye. I know there are some here that are definitely on the discontinued list, but if they are still available online, I will link what I can down below. And that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.